Every market participant knows that a super bullish period like we've had for the last five months is inevitably followed by a pullback of some sort. So our traders and our investors stuck having to endure this pullback and the painful drawdowns. Not if you learn the powerful short side option strategy taught in this video. I'm Mike Bellafuri, and we're one of the top proprietary trading firms located in New York City since 2005 and proud to develop number seven and even eight figure per year traders. Watch, take notes, and learn from a professional trader on our proprietary trading desk so you can grow your trading account. Hi, I'm Seth Freudberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk here in Manhattan. And the market's been on a relentless bull run for nearly five months now with the S&P 500 index gaining over a thousand points since mid-October. That's the fastest and largest market rally in the last three years, as you can see. And so everyone who trades the markets well understands that at some point here, there's going to be a significant pullback. We don't know how long or how deep it's going to be, but it is inevitable that there's going to be some pullback, some profit taking or sector rotation or some other factor that is likely to take a bite out of stock valuations. And so traders and especially investors have two choices. You can sit back and simply watch as the pullback occurs and you know watch helplessly as your account shrinks. That's certainly one choice, but not a very appealing one. Or you can learn how to use an option strategy known as the bearish broken wing butterfly to give you the opportunity to actually profit from the pullback and at the same time set yourself up for an incredible entry to go long the market after the pullback has taken place. And the best part about this strategy is that if you enter this options trade and you're wrong about the sell-off and the market just keeps marching upwards or say stalls out, you still make some money. In other words, you can be outright wrong about a pullback and you still profit. And that's the beauty of so many of the option strategies that we deploy and teach. You can win in multiple ways, including being outright wrong. Now, before we get into this important topic more deeply, if you're absolutely brand new to options trading and you don't know much about options or how they work, we've created a video for you to understand options basics. And if you click the video appearing on your screen right now, it will lay the groundwork for you to understand the option strategies that we'll be sharing with you in this video. Then you, when you're finished, you could just come back and watch the rest of this video. Okay, so to illustrate exactly how this strategy works, let's head back to the last time that we had a lengthy rally, which really started in March of last year, 2023. And as you can see, SPY, the ETF that mirrors the S&P 500 index, had a very bullish run from mid-March to August 1st with the stock rallying about 76 points from its lows in March, a 20% rally in less than six months. So let's say that you went ahead and pulled up an options chain expiring about three months later, the October 20th options chain, which expired 80 days later. And you went ahead and bought a 452 put right below where the stock is trading, then simultaneously sold two of the 434 puts, which are located 5% below the SPY's price. And then finally, at the exact same time, bought a 250 put way farther down the options chain, which you do primarily for margin control. Well, if you did that, buying a put higher up on an options chain, then selling two puts lower on that same options chain, and then for margin control, buying a long put much farther down that options chain. When you do that entire combination, you're entering into what options traders refer to as a bearish broken wing butterfly trade, which is a very common strategy that professional options traders deploy in situations like this. Now, let's break down the cash flow implications of this trade first, because that's going to be pretty crucial to your understanding it. And so let's start with the options we sold, which are those two 434 puts, which we sold for 424. Well, remember, each put option represents the right to sell 100 shares of stock. So you multiply that price by 100 and you sold two of them. So those bring in $848, as you can see from the math. But then you have to subtract from that the cost of the higher up 452 put which you spent $7.88 for, and also the $11 you spent on the $2.50 put, which you bought to control the amount of capital you'll, you'll need in your account to execute this trade 
in the first place. And so when you net it all down, it results in positive cash flow into your account of $49. So remember, that's cash that goes into your account at the start of the trade, and that cash is yours no matter what. And incidentally, to enter this trade, your broker is going to require you to have at least $16,550 in your account. Okay, so let's now move to the day this trade expires on October 20th. And as you can see, SPY did indeed roll over. And by the time the trade expired, the stock had dropped to 421.19. So let's say that a few minutes before the market closes on the day that the trade expires, you sell the long put that you had bought, which had increased in value to 30.55. And at the same time, you bought back one of the two 434 puts you sold, which cost you 12.58 far more than you sold it for. And that makes sense that both puts are much more expensive because they represent the right to sell your shares of stock at a fixed price. And so when that stock goes below the strike price of the option, it can become very valuable, as happened in the case of both the 452 put that we were long and the two 434s that we were short. And so the transaction that you'd execute with your online broker is called a put credit spread in order to accomplish this, incidentally. Okay, so having done that, let's take stock of our options cash flow situation now. And so starting with the initial cash flow of $49 that we spoke about earlier when we first entered the trade, you can see that the proceeds from selling the 452 put is $3,055, and the cost of buying back one of the two 434 puts was $1,258. And the reason for that difference in value is that there obviously is a lot more value to a put, which would allow you to sell your SPY shares at 452 when they're trading at 421, than there would be for the value of a put that allows you to sell your shares for much less than that at 434. And so therefore, the lower put is worth much less, meaning that you've sold a put worth a lot more than the one you're buying back. And so you're going to receive positive cash flow for that transaction. And of course, a few minutes later, that 250 put option expires with no value because it's so far below where the stock is trading. And so when you net it all down, your positive cash flow has now increased to $1,846. Okay, so now at this point, you're still short that other 434 put. And so your broker is going to assign you 100 shares of SPY and you'll pay 434 per share for those, even though they're trading down at 421.19, because that put strike price is 434, and you're the one selling that right, so you are the one who must buy those shares at that price. And so at expiration, you're required to buy those shares for 434 per share, regardless of how much lower they're trading. Okay, so now let's move to the end of the year. And as you can see, the SPY rebounded and ultimately closed the year at 475.31. And so at that point, if we went ahead and sold our shares at the end of the year, let's look at how this trade would have worked out. And so taking into consideration the $1,846 we had already collected so far in options profit from first entering the trade, and then subsequently selling the put credit spread, then we add to it the proceeds of selling our SPY shares, which was 47,531. And then, of course, we deduct the cost of the shares, which we were signed at that 434 price. So when you net it all down, we made a total of $5,977 on the transaction. Now, before we wrap up, there's one more important point that I'd like you to focus on, and that's this. What if we were wrong? What if the market hadn't rolled over and SPY never went down? What would have happened then? Well, think about it. Remember, we collected that $49 up front when we first entered the trade. And remember, we were long the 452, short the 434, and long the 250 put. So each of those options had a strike price of 452 or lower. And so if the SPY hadn't sold off at all, in other words, if the premise of our trade that the market was about to roll over, if that premise was flat out wrong, we still made a little bit of money on the trade. And so what I'd like you to take away from today's video is that option strategies such as the bearish broken wing butterfly 
put you in the unique position of allowing you to make money when there is a sell-off, as we had anticipated, as in the case of this trade, where selling the put credit spread when the options expired allowed us to make a profit on the options portion of the trade. And at the same time, we then acquired the shares of SPY at a really great price, much lower than it was trading earlier in the year, and then rode those shares up into the end of the year rally, making a great profit on the shares as well. And so the broken wing butterfly served the dual purpose of allowing us to profit from the sell-off and the bounce, if you think about it. And moreover, even if our premise had proven to be wrong, we still would have made a small profit on the trade. And that's what's so cool about options trading. Once you learn the different option strategies, you can design a trade that wins in many different scenarios, not just your primary thesis. And that's why sophisticated proprietary traders use options as a key part of their trading practice. No other trading instrument provides you the flexibility and creativity that options do. Now, if you'd like to learn three more option strategies that our pro traders use, including the unique options trick that allows you to make money while you wait to buy stocks or ETFs at the price you want, and the options income strategy that allows you to make consistent money, whether the market goes up or down or sideways, and how to make money on a stock or index trade, even if you're wrong on the direction, then click the link that's appearing right now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free workshop registration page in a new window. So don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can register directly for free at optionsclass.com.